knows. Well, you asked for it and you get it. Welcome to my Commander Pickups video. Basically all this video is is just showing you stuff I trade for uh, that I may or may not put in my Commander deck. Some updates on some current Commander decks as well as some, I guess, sleeve reviews. I guess I'm going to review some sleeves in this video. Ooh. Oh, I know, I know. Very interesting. I bought some packs that I did not open on camera because I'm stupid, and here's the rares. Nothing crazy until we get Narset, and also a Vivin, a Vivin Champion of the Wilds, which I actually consider to be a pretty good card. Not worth a lot of money, but it is essentially Yeva with a little bit of a power boost, so I like this card quite a bit. Some commons and uncommons. Got Carrion Feeder, pretty good sack outlet for black decks. Murderous Red Cap is a loop card, kind of uh, works with the persist and the plus one counter interaction thing and then you get it back and forth and back and forth and basically I didn't have one and I really wanted to pick one up. Gilder Baron because it's adorable and I want to alter it into something I'm just not really sure what yet and I really like this card a lot, Bond of Flourishing, so I picked up another one just to have an extra. Let's move on to the meat, the rare. Starting off with blue cards, you got Time Warp, a really really bad condition Time Warp which is perfect for me because I intend to play it in a deck. Two Cyclonic Rifts, this card's just broken. I don't really ever see it getting banned because people just like it too much, I guess. I don't really know. And yeah, it's a, it's almost a staple in every blue deck, and I, I, you know, I picked them up just to kind of hold value onto them. Some red cards. We got Mizzix Mastery I picked up. This was actually a gift, though. Bludgeon Brawl was a gift from my friend because uh, at the time I was running Valduk, and uh, Bludgeon Brawl is a really fun card to run in Valduk. This card is bonkers cool. Two lands. We got Polluted Delta and Nykthos. Nykthos just jumped up in price. My assumption is because of Pioneer. Uh, that format's kind of making some certain cards just kind of blow up in price lately. And a Polluted Delta because fetch lands are expensive, and if I can pick one up on the cheap, I will. I tend to hoard cards. I do that a lot. I'll just pick up cards to hoard them. Green cards. Giant Adifage is a altar that I want to do. Not really sure what yet, but I'm going to work on a project with that. An actual Yeva Nature's Herald. Funny enough, I don't think I've ever owned one, so I want to own one. And Lotus Cobra. A good include in a couple uh, Land Matters decks. I have it in Wind Grace, and I kind of want to hold on to one just in case I ever want to build another Land Matters deck. Multicolor. We got Aldamari's Call. This one's going right into Atla. Uh, I needed a copy of Search for Creatures. Here's Atla. Just another copy for altar purposes. Lord Wingrace, another copy for altar purposes. I'm considering this to be a multi-card. Sisse Weatherlight Captains, a five color commander. I don't think I'll ever build it, but it's kind of good to hold on to one just in case I want to alter another one. I got Sarah the Benevolent. This card is not really worth a lot of money, but I kind of want to own one and maybe see if I can put it in a white deck. Not really sure yet. Uh, also, the artwork's just damn beautiful. And Sarah, she's a classic magic character that's finally on a card and I kind of just, just let me have stuff. Poor, poor orb, because I don't want other people to have this card. Vidalic and Ori, this card's like 40 bucks now. Jesus Christ. Phyrexian Dreadnought, it is a lot of money. Um, sometimes they'll just pick up cards because they're valuable, and I kind of just want to hold on to them. I don't really have an intention to put this in a deck. That's really just to hold on to it. Yogmoth, aka Crick's Daddy. Yeah, this is going to Crick. Actually, this is a second copy I picked up just in case, but yeah. Yagmas and Cricks. Rise of Dark Realms. Now we're getting into cards I, I picked up pretty much just for Cricks. So Rise of Dark Realms, Dead of Winter, Necrotic Ooze, Villas, Grave Titan, and Season of the Witch. These are cards I'm pretty much just going to put into Cricks. And by the way, I built Cricks. Look, he's in there. He's past the yellow. And that's all the cards I picked up. Uh, like I said, I have built two new decks, and it is Atla and Cricks. I won't be doing videos on them just yet, they are still very much in a beta test phase, but they are turning out to be very fun, very powerful, especially Crix. Crix is crazy powerful. And the names for these decks are Crix the Prick and Yoshi. I'm, I'm getting less clever with my name, but I think Yoshi is a good representation and Crick is just literally a prick. Dragon Shield Art Sleeves. Yeah, art matte sleeves are something that I've been using a lot lately. And I absolutely love them. First of all, I love matte sleeves in general. They're just crazy good. I've had a, a set of matte sleeves that have been covering a deck for about two years, and it's still good. Matte sleeves, if anyone ever wonders what sleeves I use and what I recommend, Dragon Shield mats. And this is the Halloween one, the Halloween Dragon. Currently, uh, Lord Wingrace is piloting these sleeves. They're very, very nice. And uh, here you see it's a headless man and a dragon with blue. And this is just a yawning dragon. I really don't know if it's from anything. I don't know if he's... Like, supposed to be a, an Easter egg of something, but he's just yawning. It's a summer dragon art. Mate. 
And for Crick, I got new sleeves. I got mist. Dragon Shield matte mist. Uh, they're not art sleeves. They're not fancy, but they are very cool. Very, a very, very light, light gray. Almost like a buff gray. Dragon Shield, send me free stuff. I need to feed me. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this very small commander pickup video. I will see you later with more videos, but until then, Crick fell over.